So this is day one with Bingley. Luke is my helper. And the rest of the family went to the movies. So we are just introducing Bingley to a few things. We've tried giving him a little chicken treat and he is more interested in the smell than the taste. But, but we're getting him acquainted and he loves the people more than the toys right now. Hold out your hand, Luke, like this. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just hanging out. That's Dad's finger, huh? Oh, boy. Is he trying to bite it? It's very, very gentle, yeah. He's just, I think what he likes is the smell and the taste of the chicken that's on my fingers. But he doesn't quite get that he can get that by eating the little pieces of chicken we've shown him. So Bing is doing a great job. Luke, you want to just very gently put the collar around Bing's neck. Don't clip it, just hang it there, just so that he gets used to having something on his neck. Yeah, he doesn't even know it's there because he's focused on the crinkle toy. Oh, are you focused on your crinkle toy? Okay, just let it be. Yeah, just let him get used to it. You're focused on the crinkle toy. Yeah, that's a nice toy. So he's getting used to that. Oh, he heard you scamper across the floor. Now he's going to go to you. Yeah, just let him check your fingers out. He's just very curious about everything. Okay, we'll check in with you in a little bit, Bing. We're going to keep working on that collar and leash so you're comfortable with them. And then maybe a little later today, we'll try the, uh, the crate. So now, Luke and I have put the collar on Bingley, and he keeps scratching because he feels it there, and he thinks it must be an itch. But we rewarded him with a little tiny bite of chicken, and he has not complained about it at all. He's being very well behaved, but I think he's going to keep scratching at that for a little bit because he thinks that is an itch, my friend, until he gets used to it. But he is taking to it very well. I think we'll remove it for a little bit and then we'll try it again a little later just so he can get used to it. So we've had Bingley's collar on now for about a half an hour and the metal, the the tag, the collar, is dragging on the floor, so it startles him whenever it drags there. So we might look at removing the, the tag if it keeps bothering him, because I think it's more important at this point that he get used to a collar than he, that he's wearing a tag, because he's going to be with us uh, continuously and not unsupervised. So. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, yeah, his ear is flopped up. That's just very normal. So, we'll check in a little later. So, we have introduced Bingley's crate. He's still scratching at his neck where he thinks there's an itch, but it's the collar. But we've got his crate open. And he briefly checked it out, and then he just kind of lost interest. So we'll just introduce it here. Luke, don't encourage him. Just let him discover on his own. And we will just figure out, or let him figure out, what it means to have a crate. Okay, Bingley has walked into the crate by himself. We just left it open and uh, just put his little blanket over the threshold. And he just walked in and laid down by himself. And we're just going to encourage this and make it very natural and normal and not close the door and just leave him, let him come and go. Don't poke your fingers through. So he needs to know when he's in the crate that he will not be bothered, that nobody's going to take his stuff or bother him. And he can go in and out the way he wants. Oh, Luke is walking around and now he's following Luke. Okay. We'll check in a little later. 